Hi everyone, welcome to another weekly toy hunt. And currently I'm at Walmart and they have these adorable little Adopt Me Squishmallow plush. I'm not sure if they're for a special event, but it's this little butterfly or queen bee, my bad. It's a bee. And she has like little gold fabric and just looks super sweet and is a really, really cute big size. And then they also have some Sanrio ones too. There's a Pum Pum Purin and then there's another display. On this side, they have a larger display with the Sanrio Squishmallows and they're a large size. Wow, these are so tempting. I feel like they made a smaller form in Claire's because I'm pretty sure I have them on Melody in a, in a, in a mini. Oh, so cute. There's Kuropi, which yes, you don't see much Kuropi stuff out. That's adorable. And of course there's Hello Kitty, Pum Pum Purin as this little sundae, or I don't know what he is. I don't know, they're all desserts. <laughs> this beautiful purple butterfly. Got a darker frog there. This dark green frog. I have a light green frog, that's cute. Waffle cone. And they're $19.97, which is a really great price for such a jumbo Sanrio Squishmallows. So definitely check the bins around the store. This bin is actually by the holiday stuff. This particular Walmart is really well stocked with the Cookies Makery stuff. I was not expecting to find these this close to the holidays. So they must have just put out a case of the little toasty treats because there's like this full box there. Looks like it's still just the first six. I know there's going to be 12 total eventually. Oh my goodness. Why did I mess up their box? I can't get that guy back in. I'll have to fix it later. But they also have the cinnamon treats, um, which are a lot of fun. And that's awesome. They have they have a couple. They probably have about six of them. So I'm here like early in the morning. I think it's barely seven so um, maybe they just recently stocked they also have some of the magic mixie cauldrons and magic lamps looks like this walmart does not have the new magicus party series um they do have uh this disney adorables on clearance that's the series 10 for the multi-peak box that's actually a really good price looks like the the wish one is on rollback as well they have some snackles in stock, the little other cauldrons, and then mini brands. They have the gross ones. I don't see any of the books. Walmart's also very well stocked with all the little Alfmel items out and plushies and collectibles. It looks like there's uh, some new, new fluffy stuffy things. <laughs> The design looks adorable. There's like a double popsicle and that little sundae thing. Oh, we got a little bunny back there. I wish you didn't have to like take apart them, but it's cute. They have some larger ones too. And then they also have a very nice selection of all little blind bag plushies, blind box plushies, regular plushies, lots of plushies. <laughs> Cows vs. Aliens are now pretty readily available, which is nice. Oh, and the first series of Pop Art Soft. And they have these cute little like boba drinks, but they're so soft. So soft. <laughs> Lots of cute plushies. And then down here, they actually have some of the Pixlings. They do have the butterfly exclusive. And then in a middle section, they have a nice stock of Barbie items and Chelsea dolls. And then I've been looking for this. One of you told me it was at Walmart. Um, so thank you for that. It's the Barbie pop reveal in the little mini Chelsea um, dolls. And they're like little juice boxes. That's adorable. So glad, glad they're continuing with the small ones, just like they do the cuter reveal. You have like the big Barbie and then the little Chelsea one. So that's very, very cute. And then you can maybe find a match. It looks like these ones are truly blind boxed. Um, versus selecting the, the character. On a side cap, there's this little plushy blind box line. I'm not sure who this person is, but um, apparently this Elizabeth makes a plushy series. That's kind of cute. Now I'm at five below. And my goodness, they are so well stocked. I've been trying to hit up Five Below on every toy hunt in December, and they have a full big box of the Squishmallow Squishums. They're well stocked with the Pop Art Soft or Pop Soft Ducks, because they changed the name. We got a little Toki Doki in here. Oh my goodness. 
and they're just like literally stocking the aisles constantly oh that's cool they have these new little uh, tsunamis shakers and they're blind backed they're little shaker keychains that's fun they also have bears versus donuts the cats versus pickle holiday ones so many fun blind bags little gift ideas stocking stuffers just fun they have those sandwiches little tsum tsum plushies that are um, blind bagged as well i think there's different series ah so fun for for five below and definitely such great prices for for the holidays too oh they have the the new alf mouth stuff as well that is awesome they also have these blind box little clay molding surprises made by Play-Doh where you can make little clay animals and, and decorate them. That's kind of cool. Ooh, that's a dense squishy, but I remember those. <laughs> that's pretty cool. On an end cap here, they have a nice variety of Funko items, including some of the new little Ahsoka pocket pops from Star Wars. And then in the Funko Pop section, they actually have this Chase figure just laying out, which I, I don't collect Iron Maiden, but someone will be very happy to find that. That's, that's pretty awesome. You don't see that often. There's a bin of soda can plushies, and how cute are they? They're very, very soft. There's a strawberry soda, blueberry soda, peach soda. <laughs> Hanging on a random spot, there's little Squishmallow keychains that have food items. Oh, look at this guy has a cookie. A rainbow chip cookie that's adorable watermelon oh the little badger has honey okay that's that's cute so these are little five dollar keychains adorable i like them holding their little snacks <laughs> that's cute and here's the squishmallow bin so they have a variety of the mini houses of harry potter oh you got a comment down below which house are you which house are you mr burlove doesn't know i think he's hufflepuff but i'm ravenclaw <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ravenclaw. I need to have him do a quiz. Yeah. And then we have some other um, releases. Oh my goodness. Why is that bear so happy? He's adorable. Okay. That's, that's also very tempting. We have some of the mushroom ones. <laughs> the Harry Potter ones are a little bit smaller than these. Oh, there's Benny. We have our little um, Zumir guy. That's cute. He was from a couple, a couple weeks ago, I think was the release. Oh, we have a dragon. So they are also very well stocked with Squishmallows. And more plushies on a random section. These are like little boba ones, but they're super soft, Squishmallow material. Look at the bear. And then this pink axolotl, like how cute. This is like a little, little grape one. That's adorable. And again, for $5, they're like a nice size, very soft plushie. There's a popcorn one too. In the slime section, here's a look at the Squishmallow slime, which is actually really great slime. <laughs> For store-bought slime, it is awesome. And then they have these little ones that come with like mini, mini food items. Ooh, those, those are tempting. But for $5, the Squishmallow slime is a very good find. Um, I enjoyed that a lot. They also have another aisle with some uh, action figures. We have some cute winter-themed Pokemon toys. There's some E.T. bobbleheads. Are these Funko? No. But that's cool if you're an E.T. fan. Is there like an anniversary for E.T. coming up? I don't know. They have Magic Mixies slime now. And then the cute little crybabies, the gold series, the holiday series. And then, oh, we have some Bubbaloons and some Crystal Woods. Disney Dorables. Wow, you name it. Like, Five Below has it. Oh, the little monsters from Crybabies, too. Oh, cute. So these are these shakers, but they're with Kirby. That's kind of fun. Little little keychains. Again, nice, nice variety. There's more Funko Pops down this aisle, and they actually have a Five Nights at Freddy's Circus Foxy. Really cool. That Star Wars uh, wiki is awesome. And then... On this side, they have a lot of the little mystery minis and these metal figs for Nightmare Before Christmas. How cool is that? So it looks like they have Zero and Pumpkin King Jack. That is so cool. 
I'm back home from my toy hunt and the rest of the video is a brief haul in case you guys want to stick around and see what I purchased. So the only thing I purchased from Walmart was one of the new Barbie pop reveal. These are the little Chelsea juice boxes and those are like the little matching ones you can find. So I'm excited to see who we get. And then we went to Five Below, and I know there's always going to be something at Five Below to film, so I've enjoyed going there for the holiday season, and I was pleasantly surprised to find the metal figs for Nightmare Before Christmas. They had Zero, and they had the Pumpkin King. And wow, these are nice, solid, metal-heavy figures. They didn't have Jack or Sally. Look at Jack's pose. Like, how adorable. What are you doing, Jack? You're, he's, he's adorable. <laughs> so I do want to track down the other two. I wanted to go to another Five Below, but um, it was getting kind of crowded. And I, I do not film if anyone's in the aisle. And that was that was getting tricky to, to maneuver. And then Five Below kind of dragged me into their slime. The Squishmallow slime was good, but I haven't really tried many others. But they had these little mini food slimes. And judging by how they feel... I, they're not water slime. I, I bet you they're just kind of like stretchy slime. But they had this blueberry pie one. They're scented as blueberry pie. And you get a little blueberry pie miniature. So I kind of bought them for the mini charms. <laughs> then there is a puff pastry one. Which that's cool. Oh, you get confetti in there. You get three different little miniatures. And of course, you don't have to put them in your slime. And then there's a holy cannoli. <laughs> Which, which is adorable. I just look at look at the little cannoli miniature. Like I, I needed a cannoli miniature in my life. So I thought, you know, why not give them a try? They might even be good slime. So there you go. They had a nice slime selection. Then the last three items I actually didn't film. They were in the holiday section as you're making your way towards the check stand, but they had this light up necklace of Santa Jack. And it looks like, unless I misread it, um, I, or couldn't see, it looks like the batteries are replaceable, which you don't always find. And you know what? If they're not for $5, you can wear him all holiday season. And that is just too cute. So couldn't pass up that. Then I saw pictures of this one on Instagram. They have a miniature section. Now this one was actually in the holiday goods and not in the toy section. So it's this teeny tiny holiday party. And they look like hard plastic miniatures, but they don't look too bad. They Those gingerbreads are adorable. Look at this little snowman. You got cookies. You got a wreath. And those are all the items it includes. Oh, a little cookie tin. Like for $5, um, that's absolutely adorable. You could do a lot with these, even deco pieces, but I think they, they look great. So very happy to, to find this one. And then the very last thing I purchased from Five Below was kind of an impulse buy, but they do have a lot of cute, like lounge around the house type of clothes and t-shirts sometimes too um but i picked up these little fuzzy super sh soft shorts but they're little hedgehogs winter hedgehogs in teacups like like how cute is that design the only thing with five below they're they don't always have um, a lot of size choices so I'm usually size small they only have medium and i'm like oh, we'll we'll make it work <laughs> it, it's too cute and just a fun you know clothes item to lounge around the house in and maybe snuggle up with a good book because that sounds like like a plan <laughs> sounds like a day <laughs> so that'll do it for this week's toy hunt i hope you enjoyed it or found it useful for your own shopping if you did feel free to give it a thumbs up and i want to thank you so much for coming toy hunting with me i really appreciate it and i hope to see you in the next one until then take care bye bye